it is finally harvest time in our area and it's my first day out here since I moved to college and today is actually really special because it's plots day. We're all harvesting the research plots and what happens is there's several different types of varieties planted out here of corn and they harvest a little bit of each type of variety and then um, check out what they've harvested of that variety, take it to a way wagon view the results of how it did on this specific ground in these type of conditions and then the data they collect from today will be used to decide if this will become a specific uh, marketed variety. So it's a really busy day, it's always a little bit hectic on Platts Day and I'm going to take some video and share it with you. Thanks! What would normally happen during harvest is the combine would continue to shell corn and the auger cart, which is the small red cart pulled behind the red tractor in this case, would pull up alongside the combine while it continued to move and the combine would dump the corn from its holding tank into the auger wagon. Because this is research plots day though, the combine can only harvest a little bit of each variety at a time to make sure that the sample sizes are uniform. Once the combine gets that specific size of sample, the auger cart comes up and collects it from the combine and then goes and dumps it automatically onto the way wagon, which is what the researchers use to check the, vari the variety's um, moisture, weight, and just overall condition. This is a good way to tell which varieties did good in this specific situation. So it's a really valuable tool to uh, help companies such as Monsanto in this case decide what corn varieties will eventually become publicly sold. I don't know if you guys can tell but I'm actually sitting on the floor of a tractor right now. I would be kind of riding on the buddy seat arm of the uh, pilot's chair as you would say but we actually have a little visitor with us today, my nephew who's four is uh, sitting right there, so uh, Aunt Kelly got bumped to the floor. Right here you can see how there's these strips of corn left standing and that's because they needed to make sure that they had uniform sample sizes for every variety. Later on in the day they did go back and harvest the rest of the corn that was left standing, but for the research they needed to make sure they, they had that specific sample size. So the field looked pretty funny for a little while, but in the long run that's what needed to happen to get the information they needed.